So, not too long ago, I asked the fandom on Twitter two really interesting questions regarding Black Clover. We reached 300 chapters, so I thought eh, it'd be a fun idea to ask these questions while we're waiting for the leaks for chapter 300. And I got a lot of awesome replies. So, I thought I would take the time to read all of them, because I got so many. You know, fun looks like me. I didn't want to hold anybody uh, out of it. A lot of you gave me some really good, honest uh, answers, and I thought it'd be fair to read all of them. Plus, it, I think it'd be another fun way to celebrate the fact that we've reached 300 chapters. So, right off the bat, the first question I asked was, with Black Clover approaching its 300th chapter, I want to ask, what got you into the series? What made you a fan? Then I used hashtag Black Clover 300. And I'm going to start off with the quoted replies because I got quite a bit of them. And the first one is from a French fan who says that he got into it thanks to the special Jump Festa OVA that released back in 2016. I was never the biggest fan of the OVA. I did enjoy it at the time, but I always thought um, the art style was off compared to Tabata's art in the manga. But, you know, it helped. That OVA helped uh, get a lot of people into uh, into Black Clover back in 2016. I remember being really excited for it because I was like, "Oh my God, we're actually getting some of the some of the manga adapted in an anime, even if it's through an OVA form." So that's always been really cool to me. So yeah, this came from uh, Software F. Excuse me if I'm saying that incorrectly, but yeah, thank you for replying. And now we got uh, Gosvik. He said, back when I was in 8th grade, I was staying up to watch some anime on Toonami. When Black Clover aired before Hunter x Hunter, it got me interested and more hyped up for what the series has to offer. Still watching till this day, a few years later. And I've said this before, but I have, I've always been really grateful to Toonami. You know, Toonami is one of the... Well, not even one of... It is the main reason I've got into anime when I was younger. I still support it. I watch it every Saturday night. Though I don't really tweet for it, I just talk about Black Clover whenever it airs, but I'm, I'm always watching, no matter what. I'm always thankful to Jason and the rest of the Toonami crew for picking up Black Clover and airing it on the block. I do wish it could air earlier, but, you know, it's still on, it's on the block, so that, that makes me happy. Moving on to the next reply, it's... Um... Jen Chan? Jen Chan? I got curious since BC is on my suggestion list on Netflix before I, before so, I binged watched it for three days straight. Then I read the manga after. Made me a fan of it. Seabed, Temple Arc, Black Bull's teamwork and dynamic is something that I really love. I assume they're just, uh, they're, uh, they're trying to say that they love the Sea Temple Arc and how teamwork is a core essence of the series and how the dynamic between the characters, the Black Bulls, and cast are really strong. And I agree. That's a, that, that's another thing that makes Black Clover such an amazing series. So, yeah, thank you. The next one comes from Aki, who is, I assume, a fan from Latin America since it is written in Spanish. I couldn't really read it, so I have to rely on Google Translate. So I apologize if a lot of this doesn't come out accurately. But it says, it all started with the video saga of Dai telling me about Black Clover. Dai? I wonder if that's maybe a popular YouTuber? Or... I'm not sure. But if I remember correctly, he was in the arc of the Underwater Temple, the Sin Temple arc. And well, since his servant had no opinion of his own, if Dai said it, it was bad, then it was bad. Already when I finished the arc in the Palace of the Shadows, which shows Water Temple. He goes on to continue to say, I said what happened to him, how that from one moment to the other the series was mid-core, then one day I was thinking more than once. I looked for the first chapter and well, I started to watch all the anime until I caught up to chapter 147, and my opinion has changed a lot since then. So I'm going to assume that there was possibly a YouTuber named Dai. I feel like somebody's told me about this YouTuber. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaking this person for someone else. But he's saying that Dai must have saw Black Clover. He probably saw it up until the uh, Water Temple arc. He probably didn't like it. Then Aki gave it a chance, and he actually enjoyed it more than he did. And now he's 
read the manga up to chapter 147, and he's, his opinion has changed a lot. And since he replied, I assume he's a fan. He's a little nice picture of Noct. So, yeah. Uh, I always say give Black Clover or really an any anime that people like to criticize a chance. Because you never know. It could be something you could enjoy. So, yeah. Thank you for the reply, Aki. I, I really enjoyed reading it. The next reply comes from someone called Nero. He said, the anime. I love Asta. I love Asta too. He's a great MC. Uh, the next person, Joshua. Joshua Carter. Tempest. Scrolling in Funimation, I decided to watch it. Have been loving it since. Uh, that's really cool. Funimation uh, does a pretty decent job at advertising DC. So I'm glad that fans managed to come across it through their app or uh, their streaming pl uh, platform. So that's great. The next one comes from TN Juros. He has a little Naruto icon where his name should be. These leaked panels of Vanica I saw my tail had me down bad. Oh, not like this. And he shows some pictures of Vanica and some some funny tweets that he made. Sexy eye patch lady from Black Clover. I have feelings for you. Need to watch more Black Clover so that I can catch up and read the manga and meet sexy eye patch lady. Yeah, Vanica. Vanica will do that to you. I know some people that, uh, I know one friend of mine who was watching Black Clover and he gave it a break, but then he saw a picture of Vanica and he decided to continue. She has that power, and it's a scary one. Moving on to the next one, Gus Gus? Uh, he said the Vito fight, oh my god, and he shows the little gif of Yami. Oh yeah, that fight was amazing. That fight, I remember that, uh, when it first aired, that was, I believe, the first time the anime had ever trended on Twitter, and it trended high. It got a lot of people into Black Clover. That was a really good episode. Easily one of my favorites. It's a good stuff. The next one uh, comes from CDM Grande. I like the concept, but didn't like the anime's execution of it. Or Asta much at first. But then I read the manga and watched a couple of episodes here and there, and the next thing you know, I was hooked. The only series I read weekly at the moment. Oh, I read weekly at the moment. My apologies. Good stuff. I do know the anime has its share of issues, but I still enjoy it for what it is, and I, I, uh, I respect a lot of the work the staff puts into it. Of course, it's not for everyone, so if you can't get into the anime, I always suggest reading the manga. So good stuff. Next we have Alexis Beltran, and I believe this is in Spanish, let me translate, it is. I met this beautiful anime thanks to opening 3 and 10. Ah oh, yes, opening 3 and opening 10, Black Rover and Black Hatcher. Easily the best openings in Black Clover. I mean, every opening's a banger, but those two are easily like the top. But yeah, those I remember actually opening three when it was first uploaded on YouTube. I think the full version. It had reached 30 million views, and this is back in I believe 2018 when it was still up. And I think I got deleted around 2019, or either the end of 2018. Such a shame, too. Can you imagine how many views it would have now? Sheesh, man. But yeah, very enjoyable. Then the next one comes from Moonlight Stan, who shows a gif of Noelle fighting Fana. I'm going to assume it's because of Noelle, and Noelle's great. I love Noelle. She's easily my favorite shonen heroine. I love her very much. And next we have uh, Klaus Clover, and is this another one in Spanish? Let me translate it. Yes, honestly, I love the POV of the announcement that Black Clover was going to have an anime. Oh, I'm going to assume the little trailer that was released before the anime that was done by Yoshihara. I, I love that one. I've been misleading, but uh, obviously the staff had to deal with some issues. Uh, I mean, it dealt with some issues, so it caused a lot of changes. But uh, before, before that, let me keep reading. And by then, I loved Naruto, not to mention that my country back then was going through the worst natural disaster. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Black Clover was my escape from what was happening. Oh, I, I'm not sure what troubles you were having in your country, but I'm glad that Black Clover managed to help you go through it. And I hope whatever issues it's going through now has either gone away or it's gotten much easier than it was before. And yeah, I, I've had 
people tweet at me before saying that um, Black Clover has helped them through a lot, whether it's, you know, minor issues like having to worry about work, homework, or which is bigger issues like stuff going on in their country, you know, it, it's always there. Of course, you know, Black Clover, it, like, you know, people say this all the time about like other certain types of animes, but you know, when you hear about it with Black Clover, it's always such a nice thing to, to listen to. So, you know, I'm wishing the best for you, Klaus Clover, and uh, thank you for replying to my tweet. And uh, another one, which is also in Spanish. I'm going to assume a majority of these are in Spanish. Uh, oh, this is the final quote of re uh, retweet too. So it says, I wouldn't know BC if it weren't for the video of Die. Oh, Die. So there's another person. I mean, the same person that was mentioned in the other tweet. I saw that he said it was bad, and so one day I was bored and with nothing to do, I wanted to see if it was as bad as they said. And, I, and when I said, okay, let's go to chapter 5, and I realized I was already in chapter 25. I had butchered that, but uh, I have a decent understanding of what he's trying to say. Before that, I was half B I was a half BC hater. Yes, I completely got carried away by what others were saying, and now I regret not having to start BC before. Yeah, I, I've had that happen. Oh, I've seen that happen before. I had a friend of mine who didn't like BC. Uh, I don't know if he hated it. He claims to have hated it, but I, I, I don't know. But uh, he's become a fan, and you know, like like I've said before, just just give it a chance. Don't be a blind drone and listen to what certain YouTubers have to say all the time, you know, try to form your own opinion and always try to give a series a shot. Even if you feel like you still might not like it at the end, you'll never know. So, yeah. Those are the quoted uh, tweets that I was given. Now let me read the replies, and there's a lot of them. Uh, you know's wind. So you are guardians of the galaxy. I'm, uh, I know this guy. He's uh, he, he likes to reply to a lot of my tweets. He's a really nice guy. Just randomly search the top 10 shonens or action slash fantasies or something on YouTube. Back then, I was new to anime stuff. Really cool. Seems like uh, Black Clover might have been one of his first series. So, uh, it's really it's a really good series to start off with. Uh, that's really good to hear that you enjoyed it. Thanks for replying. Oh, uh, Shibo. Another Sonic fan that I know on here. Love him for that. Not only is he a Sonic fan, he's also a Black Clover fan, which is... Even better for me. And I remember I replied to him too, uh, to say that he was, to be completely honest, a couple years ago I kept getting recommended the series when it came out by IRLs till one day in history class my friend Loki stole my school Chromebook and put it on. I was hooked, man. Can you just imagine that? that I thought that was a really funny story. Uh, phew. I feel like I should be doing that. But uh, yeah, that helped him get into the series. And uh, now it's one of his personal favorites. Really good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Uh, the next one, I exist backup. He says, I kept getting told it was trash, so I wanted to see how bad it was, but I loved it from the start. The world, the power system, also, I could ignore the dodgy animation of the anime and started reading the manga. Now it's my favorite. Good stuff, man. Just more people telling me that they got into it despite all of the negative reception it was receiving. And uh, next is Phantom Clover 15. The magical setting in Asta and Noel, along with the bulls and cast. Of course. All great stuff. I love how Tabata handles the world and the cast. Uh, it's another reason why I love Black Clover so much. And the next one is Dequan Midoriya. And he replies, Quarantine Boredom and a search of the most popular anime in 2017. It caught me a little off guard. I remember replying... Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'm glad he chose 2017. I don't remember Black Clover being super popular in 2017. If anything, it was being all hated on a lot. But I guess it got enough buzz for Daquan to check it out, so that's really good. Next we have Wilson. Wilson M451. I moved to a new town and I didn't know anyone. I hadn't watched anime in years, so I decided to watch My Hero Academia on a whim. I enjoyed it, but I kept seeing this thumbnail on my recommendations. I watched it from the first episode and I was hooked. From there, Black Lord became my favorite. Really nice. Um, I, uh, I know how it feels like to move to a new place. And that's extremely difficult. So I'm glad Black Clover had, you know, had been there to help him through adjusting to his new place. 
Very nice to hear. Next we have Comic. I heard people say it was better than My Hero Academia, and I was like, nah, they must be capping. Then I watched the anime, and man, they were spitting. It's been four years since. For me, I, I, I wouldn't say My Hero or Black Lover, like one is better than the other. I love both series very much. But uh, I prefer Black Clover a bit more. So, you know, it's really good to, uh, to see that, you know, there are people that end up watching both My Hero and Black Clover. And even though people might have preferences, I think it's always great that people can watch both and enjoy both. So thank you. And next we have Rebound. I started it in, I started it three years ago. I saw people talking shit about it on Facebook. So I watched some clips on YouTube and decided to check it out. Hooked after the first episode. Oof, Facebook is a... <clears throat> it's a pretty bad place when it comes to anime opinions. I used to browse Facebook a lot back in the day. Way before I got Twitter. Um, I still browse it every now and then. Because occasionally I'll check out like some funny Black Clover pages and they'll post some funny memes and stuff. But uh, overall, it's, it's not a good place to talk about anime, at least in my opinion. Then again, I can't talk. I'm on Twitter, and Twitter's also a toxic hellhole. You know, now that I think about it, the internet's just not a good place to talk about anything. But uh, Facebook is probably the last place I go to to talk about anything related to, to anime. But uh, yeah, good reply. Next we have... Publius or Publius 616 Oh, Broku pestered me a couple of months to watch it back in 2017-2018. Once I caught up, I had to start reading the manga, which is a first for me. Been a die-hard fan since. Yeah, Broku is super popular within the Black Clover community. I'm always thankful for his work. And, you know, really happy that he's still posting up videos and getting as many views as he's getting. He's definitely carrying the series on YouTube, so can't ask for more than that. And next we have uh, Panda. And uh, watched the Black Clover Slender video without watching BC, ignored 90% of it, tried it myself, and it's on one of my top 10s. Very good. Another one who decided to just not listen to the haters and decided to check it out and form their own opinion. Good stuff, Panda. And next we have... Oh, I know who this is. Yeah, I gave it a like to Lone Lone Tone, Silent Tones. Got into it in episode three of the an of the anime aired. Well, I guess he meant to say when the anime aired. Then I caught up to the manga, which was around chapter 100 in like three days, and I never looked back. Sheesh, that must have been a fun binge. Man, if I can get back into reading the first 100 chapters of Black Clover again without remembering anything, I, I'd have so much. I'd have so much fun. Thanks for replying. Next. Nate. Oh, I know Nate. The magic system and Asta's work ethic. Hell yeah. Actually, I know a lot of people who decided to work out thanks to Asta's little work ethic. Now a lot of the people in the fandom are, well, pretty built. So good stuff. Keep working out. Keep being healthy. Be strong like Asta. Uh, the next one, Ricky of the Twelfth Leaf. Started watching it six months later. Got back into it, rewatching in the three episodes I watched. Then this time I immediately fell in love with it. It's awesome, man. Decided to check it out. He had fun with it. It's good to hear. The next one comes from... Ola. My friend wouldn't stop talking about Noel and Asa. Yeah, I never played. You have a good friend. <laughs> the next one comes from... Sadik OP. Stumbled upon it... Stumbled on it by coincidence in early 2016, and I like the art. So I decided to give it a shot, and since then, I've been reading it weekly. Yep, Tabata's art is something really special. So I'm glad that's what got you and hopefully others into the series. And uh, the next one, Seven Bands? Well, there's an X there, but uh, Seven... BXNs? Huh, I'm guessing Seven Bands. Adult Swim. So yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he means Toonami. Yeah, like I said earlier, Toonami's great, and I'm happy that they are Black Clover. They got many people into it. Couldn't thank them enough for that. And the next one, Middle Sonya, TikTok, which is a, that is a very unique response. A clip of the Wizard King's grimoire and everyone was talking about how OP it, he was, so I gave it a shot off that alone. Boy, it was a good decision. Generally speaking, that's how I got into any anime. 
the character being talked up and deciding to check them out. I assume he means uh, characters that are hyped up, and he decides it, to watch it based on that. And yeah, the Wizard King's pretty hype. I love the Wizard King. Good old Julius Novacrono. The next one, One Dream, One Wish. Well, when I was seeing promos for Jump Force, I saw Austin as Devil Power. So I decided to watch the series. I became a fan of the magic spells and shit. That's interesting. Jump Force? I never thought Jump Force would get people into Black Clover. I guess I should be really grateful Asta got into the game. Really wish they had added more though. They, they could have added Yuno, Noel, and Yami. But they didn't add any of them. Uh, I don't know if the game is getting a season 3, but if it gets a season 3, I hope it, it at least adds one more Black Clover character. Come on, Namco, do it. Uh, next. Uh, Nanu? Nanu. I can't clearly remember, but it was Asta's determination and strong will to not give up on his dreams. Hell yeah, man. Also, is a great MC with some hard determination. Gotta love that. <laughs> the next one, Cool cool Cam Jam. In the summer of 2020, my cousin and sister recommended me on the anime and said I liked, them. I liked it a lot after watching My Hero Academia, being my first Shonen Jump anime I watched in 2019. So yeah, technically, one year uh, anniversary of me being a fan of the series and one of my faves of all time. That's really good to hear. Uh, My Hero and Black Clover, getting into both series sounds like a thrill. Two animes that uh, definitely should be able to get a lot more people into anime. It reminds me back in the day when Naruto and Bleach helped a lot of people get into anime. You know, and of course One Piece. So good stuff. Next, um, Chris BLM. I discovered it by scrolling through Crunchyroll because I needed something new to watch and I was hooked ever since the start. Really cool. Crunchyroll had a really crazy phase back then trying to overly promote Black Clover, which I felt might have hurt it more than helped it. But uh, they've toned that down ever since. And you know, naturally they let the series speak for itself and more and more people got into it. But I guess a lot of Crunchyroll's advertising must have gotten into it. Uh, it's gotten to a lot of people, so they decided to check it out thanks to that, so... I guess it worked out in some ways. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad you decided to watch the series, Chris. Good stuff. Kendall. Back in 2017, I was in... in an anime site, and I, I saw that BC Episode 1 came out back when the series was first announced. Got a lot of hate, so I avoided reading the manga, but then I gave Episode 1 a chance, then after I was hooked, and I caught up to the manga in two weeks. Oh, that's really nice to hear. Yeah, back then I got a lot of hate, but I'm glad you managed to watch it and see for yourself that it was actually really good. So, good stuff, Kendall. A name, uh, name. The next one, Yukito. My brother called me to watch because his teacher had recommended it to him. I've been in love with BC for two years. Really, your teacher? That's, you have a really good teacher. Good to hear that, uh, your teacher recommended you the series, and I'm glad you're a fan now because of it. And the next one is Deshaun Hancho Senpai. Seen a video of RDC World 1's video, and it was about video games, and it was like, make all the combos, use one button, make fun of Naruto games, and then they were like, what's the best anime right out right now? And they was like, Black Clover, so I went to Hulu and saw what the hype was about. And I fell in love with it after the first episode, but I did think it was very much like Naruto in the first 10 minutes, but I completely forgot about that once I got to the end of episode 1. People like to say there's a lot of similarities between the two, but I think it's just, you know, Black Clover uses a lot of shonen tropes, and I think it uses those tropes very well. And because anime like Naruto uses those tropes as well, as well, not to mention the fact that a lot of people got into anime thanks to Naruto, people like to compare the two a lot. But they're not similar, in my opinion. They're just two really good shonens, and they both do completely different things. So I'm glad you managed to watch it and enjoy it. Hey, it's Trent. Trent replied saying, The first episode got me into the series. Magic Knights vs. Vito permanently hooked me on the series. And the Elf Arc put, me, put it in my number one spot. Yeah, the Elf Arc is easily Black Clover's best arc in my opinion. So I'm glad that helped get you into the series. And it helped you get it to be your number one series. So that's, that's awesome, Trent. Thanks for replying. And the next one is Juan Carlos. 
the replies in Spanish, the opening three, and why a lot was listening to Black Clover and the group I was. I think he's saying that it was opening three and he was listening to a lot of Black Clover. Or maybe his group, maybe his group of friends were into Black Clover and that's what got him into it, the series and the opening. Uh, at least that's what I assume. I, I apologize if I'm getting that wrong. But yeah, that, that's good to hear. The opening, uh, the third opening really got a lot of fans into it. And it's a really good opening. It's probably my favorite. I know people like to say that Black Hatcher is their favorite, but I love Black Clover so much. Vico Blanta really snapped with that one. So, good. Good stuff. Winter Winter. Oops, I said Winter Winter. Winter Rider Ryan. I caught some of the openings on compilation videos and thought, this looks fun. I'm gonna read. Oh, another one that got into it thanks to openings. That's really good to hear. Thank you, Ryan. The next one is, why is every triad member hot? Uh, my friend said nobody liked it except the openings, so I gave it a shot right after New Year's and I loved it from the start. That's... That's a weird. That's a very weird thing for somebody to say. I think people will like the openings because, not only because they're good, but you know because they're part of Black Clover and Black Clover is a great series. I mean, then again, some people are saying that they got into it thanks to the opening, so maybe. But you know, I, I'm glad Black Clover has some fucking banger as openings. That's got a lot of people into the anime and the manga. So thank you for applying. <laughs> the next one is. Uh, BB, uh, yeah, he put Black Clover, but he put two Bs. The 2016 OVA was bummed out that Naruto Shippuden anime was ending in early 2017, so to come across the OVA and watching it was a blessing to me. I knew for a fact BC was gonna going to be my next series to have close to my heart. Yeah, I was really bummed out when Naruto ended too, or at least when it was close to ending. I'm a big Naruto fan, I love Naruto, so seeing it end really hurt. But, you know, I have Black Clover now, and I'm really glad that I'm a huge fan of the series, and I'm doing my best to support it as much as I can. And, oh, it's uh, Viridian. Very Clover. Licked and Lumiere playing Magic Ping Pong with a Bladder Mouth Devil. Although I did see Asta, Magna, and Luxe Fenrir as well. That scene is amazing. Easily one of the best in Black Clover. Eh, I love Viridian. He, he posts some of the funniest memes on, on Twitter. Love him very much. Thanks for applying, man. The next one is Landon. For me, opening three made made it look so interesting, so I started it. Glad I did. Just regret not watching it sooner. I'm just happy you're into it now. Thank you for checking it out, and I'm glad the opening got you into the series. And the next one comes from Clover High of ninety six. Got into the series because of Toonami. Later down the line, I read the manga. That's good to hear. Uh, he posted the Toonami trailer. Uh, yeah, I love the Toonami trailer. It's really good. I'm glad that more people got into it thanks to Tsunami. The next one comes from Trelex. This right here. Oh, when Asa fought against Muha! Or also Seke. So, yeah, that was a really good scene. I love going back and rewatching it. It's a good one. Now, the next one we have Sauce Cake. I like the characters, especially the females. They aren't those cliche need a man to save her, but overall like the fights and the story. Oh uh, yeah, Tabata really knows how to write female characters and he does such a great job with that. It's one of the highlight for Black Clover to many people and to me as well. I love Noelle, I love Vanessa, I love Charlotte, I love Grey, all of the female cast of Black Clover. They're all very well written and they're all very well done. Can't thank Tabata enough for that. The next one we have Josh. I saw a meme with Yuno. I wonder what meme he was talking about. I wasn't able to reply to it. But uh, whatever it was, uh, it seemed to really get him into Black Clover. Actually, on the topic of Yuno and memes, I actually have had this one idea for Yuno I've been meaning to make since 2017. There's a funny Yuno image I've been wanting to make for the longest, but I, I've been both lazy and just incapable of making it. One day I'm gonna make it and I'm like half of the fandom is gonna hate me for it. Uh, I'll tell you more about it whenever, well, I'm not even gonna tell you, like whenever it's, if, whenever I get to making it, I'll upload it and I'll see your reactions. Well, whenever I can get around to making it. Alright, moving on. 
knocked fast. Got a knock fan here. The clover leaf symbol and what it means each one. I guess he means what each one means. And yeah, we have the three leaves, which represent faith, hope, and love. And those with exceptional magical abilities, they get the four leaf clover, which represents good luck. And within the uh, five leaf clover resides a devil. I love that. It's such a memorable uh, line from the series, having to remember all the leaves in the grimoire. It's really cool, and I see even casual fans of Black Clover mention that a lot over the internet, which is how you know it's a really cool uh, thing to have in the series. So, awesome stuff. And uh, next we have Kenshin Narutox. The memes. <laughs> That's a good reply. I hope he enjoys the crazy and dumb stuff that I upload on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, the next we have uh, Flagrant Boy 24. I heard people say it sucked, so I wanted to see if it was actually bad, but I really liked it. Awesome. I'm glad you decided to see it for yourself and see that it was really good. Next we have 8 vs Anthony. He tags someone, Demonte Gaming. Got me, he says he got me into Black Clover when he was talking about it in one of his streams slash videos. Not too familiar with who this is, but I'm glad he managed to get you into the series. Says here he's into anime and DBC, he's a YouTuber. Not sure who he is, but I'm glad he got you into Black Clover. The next one is Kiritsugi's a goat. Binged it in the summer of 2018, and I've been watching it weekly since the series never uh, and the series has never bored me, and has always been really interesting. Yeah, Black Clover is a series that keeps on delivering, so I'm glad it's kept you interested all this time. And hey, look, it's another Michael. I started watching it when it first uh, started coming on Toonami. Been hooked ever since. Yep, Toonami. I've said it again. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Can't thank Toonami enough for that. I'm glad you're watching it on Toonami and you're probably still watching it there. It's good to hear. The next one is Rhyme Time. Some was like, should I read BC? And saw more and more things for BC and I was like, that is sing. Uh, that is I'm guessing he just kept watching more and more BC and he just kept getting more and more into it. Uh, that, that makes me happy. I'm, I'm glad you're really enjoying BC. Next one, Feisty. Opening three made me watch it, bruh. Also, part of no this part of Noel was badass. Oh, the part where she's using the water magic, and I had the urge to binge watch it. I finished in three days. Damn, that must have been one hell of a binge. Sheesh, I'm glad you really got into the series. Man, opening three, phew, that really got so many people into Black Clover. What a godlike opening. Next, uh, we have Dusk. Heard hella people this Black Clover and call it mid, but my IRL homies liked it. Then binged the manga over two weeks and it was a vibe. Hate BS because of some uh, Naruto similarities. It's wild. Yeah. Some people like to compare the two. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. But at least you got into it, and that's what matters in the end. Next we have... Lindis. One little thing, the team work in the manga is one of the best I've ever seen, and the creative, uh, well, creativity of Tabata and all the fights and magics. Yeah, I love the fights in Black Clover, they're very well done. Really creative too. When Tabata, when, when he started it out, it, it was hard as, you know, to tell if he'd be able to stick with the team efforts of the fights that he, you know, sticks to, that he stuck to in the beginning, but, you know, it stayed, and it, it's always a thrill watching different characters fight together and fight against different opponents. It's awesome. Then next we have Tweely. And oh man, this video is going on for quite a bit. I'm going to try to read the rest of them as quickly as I can. I might have to make this into two parts. But yeah, I saw Black Rover in my recommendations when I was listening to the anime openings. I really like the song, so I give the show a try and man I love the series so much. Black Rover is really good. I'm glad I got you into it. The next one, Kaisen, Boredom. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm glad that helped you get into Black Clover. Next is Sarlin. I accidentally scrolled down a website for watching anime, movies, TV shows, etc. That's a happy accident. I'm glad that got you into Black Clover. 
The next one, I'm Shane. I watched it on Netflix first, then I got hooked. Netflix, it's not available here in the US, so maybe you're from the Philippines? I know Netflix is available over there. So, good job, Netflix. Next, Red Bull 0228. I was looking for the an for anime like Naruto and I found something better in my opinion. Both are really good. I love Naruto and Black Clover. So I'm glad you uh, really enjoy Black Clover a lot. Next, Otaku Paradise 101. It was all over my YouTube and Twitter when I was de when it was debuted in 2015. And they were saying it was like a Naruto ripoff and I decided to read the first chapter. And I was like, there's some similarities. But after that, it became its own series. And I've been following it ever since. Yeah, th there was a lot of people saying stuff like that, but, you know, it, it, it's it's not like Naruto, but I'm happy you read the manga and you decided to follow it ever since. Next is Foul was curious. I legit had no idea what it was about, and I hadn't seen any feedback. Uh, there wasn't too many people saying good stuff about Black Clover, so you wouldn't hear much feedback, so I'm glad your curiosity got the better of you and you managed to check it out. Next is Bagel. I didn't really care much for it, I just disliked it for some reason. Then one day I decided to watch it because I did like the openings, but still didn't care for uh, care a lot for it. After a while I really got into it and that brings us to now. I'm glad you managed to still give it a chance. And now you're a fan. See so you have that little, little PFP of Asta smiling. So it's good to hear that you're a fan. And next we have Law. My friends cons consistently asked me to watch Black Clover since 2017, but I ignored it and watched it like 4-5 to five months ago. NBC is not my favorite. I really love the characters and dynamics, plot and everything. I'm glad your friends managed to convince you, or managed to annoy you enough to get you to watch it, so that's nice. Next, Joler. My ex-girlfriend made me watch it. No? Well, that's one way to get into Black Clover. Uh, I'm happy you're still a fan, and you replied to, to my tweet, so thank you. The next is Matthew. I saw opening 3 and I loved it so much, I decided to watch the anime, and I loved how easy and enjoyable it was to watch. Yeah, it's a, it's a really... It, it seems simple on like the outside, but it, there's so much more complicated stuff within it. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's really good. I'm, I'm glad you got into it. The next one is Gornor. I saw potential in likeable characters after 299 chapters, and now Magna stole my heart. Tabata! Hell yeah, man, I love Magna. He did him justice with that Dante fight. Hell yeah, man. Always good to meet another fan. Next, Jen. What made me start watching was the Black Bulls for this video clip I saw on YouTube. Yeah, Crunchyroll has a lot of clips of Black Clover on YouTube, and that helped get a lot of people into, it, into the series. So I'm grateful for that. Good stuff. John Miller, I was watching you for. I was watch. Uh, excuse me. I was waiting for Diamond No Ace episode, and since my sleeping schedule was so bad, Crunchyroll updated to the No Ace BC episode at the time, and I said, "Quote, fuck it, let's try it out." Well, that's one way to get into Black Clover, but um, I guess I'm happy that it got delayed. Well, not delayed. It, uh, it must have taken them a while to sub the episode, so I'm glad you managed to check out BC. Next, Shadow. He says. The story, and characters, and world. Yep, Tabata does a great job with all of those. Love him for that. Valkyrie CW. Openings in Nero. Very good reason to get into Black Clover. Me is back. I started watching it from the beginning. Awesome. Gave it a shot, and now you're here. <laughs> this smile, and there's a smile of uh, Asta smiling. Gotta love that smile. Next we have Living Like Larry. Adult Swim slash Tsunami was airing, I think, the sixth or seventh episode, so I went back to start from the beginning. But then I started reading the manga too. And awesome. Once again, Tsunami helping get more people into Black Clover. Next, uh, Azir? Azir? Last year I saw on the TL a new opening for Black Clover, the 12th. When I saw it, I decided that I would watch the anime at some, at some time because I found it interesting, so a few months later, when there was 158 episodes, I watched it all at once and I loved it. Damn, you saw all of it? it must have been another fun binge. Glad you did that, and I'm glad you're a fan. Uh, this one is in Spanish, let me translate it. 
My younger brother began to watch it, and at times I would sit with him and watch the anime, and I was delight delighted with all in the story. It is one of my favorite mangas and animes. You have a really good brother. Uh, I'm glad he helped you get into it. Prath S says, Quarantine Time 2019, and just wanted to watch a new anime. Got BC Complete Elf Arc 123 episodes from my friend's laptop and started watching it just by watching the, uh, the first episode. Awesome. Yeah, the, the quarantine helped a lot of people get into various different types of anime, and I'm glad Black Clover is one of them for you. Next, Mr. Dot, Jump Force actually. Another person that got into it into thanks to Jump Force. That is a very interesting one. But, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of Jump Force, I'm glad it got people into Black Clover. Thanks to Asta being in the game. And next we have Dark Soki Hero, Sea Temple Arc, and the Orphanage Abduction Arc. Really? Both really good arcs. Uh, the Orphan Orphanage Abduction Arc is not talked about enough in my opinion. It's a really good one. So I'm glad that got you into it. Next we have Joker. It was my boy Yusuke Season who did it for me and I don't regret it. Thanks bro. And then Yusuke comes by and replies, no problem. Good to see that we have people recommending it to other uh, to their friends and other people. So I'm glad that you know stuff like this happens when it comes to Black Clover. Next we have Knock. I came to the bookstore and there was no series I really wanted, so I bought Black Clover because it looked interesting. Now I own most of the manga and I watch the anime. The series holds a special place in my heart. That's really awesome. Uh, I recently, well not recently, but uh, I remember when I went to the to my local Barnes and Noble. I saw a few Black Clover uh, volumes there. I wish it was a lot more, but I'm glad that your bookstore happened to have a copy. So good stuff. Next, the the emo kid. Laughed at a guy in grade 12 for watching anime and asked him what's so fun about it. He recommended me this anime and I've been 100% hooked since then. It's the first anime I've watched and it's my, per my personal top 3 anime. And my fave character is Captain Yami. He shits a lot. Yeah, he does. Uh, that's an interesting way to get into not just Black Clover, but anime in general. Um, I'm glad you got into it and I'm glad you're an anime fan now. Welcome. I hope you continue to be a fan as the series continues. And next we have Oblivion. I was fully sold when Yami responded to Patri's backstory with his own. That was a really good moment. I'm glad that I got you into it. And next, Kelty. Quarantine last year made me watch a lot of anime that, that were free on my TV through Adult Swim or Konami. Since Black Clover was the only one I hadn't watched from Adult Swim, I gave it a try and now it's one of my favorites. Yeah, glad Tsunami got you into it. Next. We have M. Kamalin, stumbled upon it, saw a big ass skull in the background, stayed for Asa's voice. <laughs> really, the demon. The demon skull in the back got you into it. That's funny. And stayed for Asa's voice? That's. Most people don't, but that's great. Love Asa's voice, love his screams. I can't get enough of it. And next, and imagine back in 2018, I saw my friend use Crunchyroll when he opened the app. A BC ad was there, and I thought it looked cool, so I tried it out. It was my first anime too, so she. And yeah, it also got escalated quickly since then. Well, that's an interesting way to get in, but I'm glad your friend was using Crunchyroll and he saw the ad. Well, you both saw the ad, so I'm glad you checked it out. And uh, next, Kisho, literally the start. Hell yeah, man! Love the first episode, or rather, the first two episodes you're showing. Asta receiving his grimoire. Good stuff. Uh, CN Renegade 448. Plot and character development and power scaling. Yeah, Tabata did a great job with the power, uh, with the power scaling and plot and character development. Uh, most power scalers debate with each other regarding that type of stuff. I don't really get a part of it. I think Tabata does a good enough job with it. So, I'm glad you're a fan. Next, Helia Forest. I watched some of the openings and it made me want to watch it. I did, and now it's in my top five. Awesome. Yeah, another person who got into it thanks to the openings. Man, Apex did an amazing job with those openings, man. Can't thank them enough. Uh, B Zeros. I was really curious to see why people hated the series when I had, had around 60 episodes, and I ended up binging it. Went through the manga like it was a big bag of chips. 
turned out to be one of uh, my favorite modern shonen. Good to hear. Good to hear. Glad it's one of your favorites. Next, Grim Reaper. Waifu's Harem, second episode. You went straight to the point. Glad, I, glad you're honest and I'm glad you're into it because of those three things. Uh, Regolith or Regolith? Followed the anime since 2017, but always piling up episodes and stuff. Became a real fan last year. Awesome. Glad you took the time to manage to check it out. Hellflax. Had BC in my read list back in 2016 because I liked the character designs and the settings reminded me of the Seven Deadly Sins. Didn't start reading BC until early 2017, but I believe chapter 89 was the newest chapter at that, at that time. That's how I got into BC. Really good to hear. That, uh, yeah, that was early on. I mean, I can't talk. I've been reading since the first chapter, when it released back in 2015. But yeah, good to hear that you've been a fan of it since then. Next is uh, Mr. Bean, Asa's Charisma. He has a lot of it going around. A great reason to get into it. Next one, Davian. Kept seeing people talk about Asa's demon form in late 2019. It's a really good form. I like it a lot. Uh, crazy to think that that form alone got some people into Black Clover. So. Awesome. Glad you like it. Next, anime media. I just wanted to start an anime, so I checked YouTube and found a video, and soon I started the series. I don't regret it. Later, maybe after episode 71, I started reading the manga. Cool. I'm guessing it must have been Crunchyroll, or maybe somebody else. But yeah, I'm glad there's a lot of clips of Black Clover on YouTube. That's helping getting uh, even more people into the series. Next, we have Brave God. I randomly found it on a manga site in early 2016. It looked interesting and I gave it a shot. Best decision I ever made. That was really early on. I'm glad you got into it since then. Thanks for replying. And then finally, Ohio... Goyba? The characters and story. Yep, Tabata does such a great job with both. I love him for that. Oof, and that does it. Oh man, I read a lot. Of replies. I wanted this. I thought it, this would be a shorter video, but then this is gonna be really long. If you made it up to this point, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to make this into two parts. I'm just gonna leave this for the part one for now. The next question I'll focus on the next video. I might leave it in the description above. Gotta find a way to do that first. But yeah. Uh, so what got you into Black Clover? If you're not mentioned in the video or in my Twitter replies, feel free to comment it below. And uh, look forward to the next video. Oh, and if you do comment, I'll do my best to reply to each one. So, thank you for checking this out, and look forward to the next one.